Uh, guys, what is that? Oh, no. Is that a meteor? I think so. And it's heading straight for us. Oh, gosh. What do we do? How do we protect ourselves? Wait, guys, we have to build a secret underwater base. That way we can survive the meteor. Well, what are we waiting for? We have to go now. Look at how close that thing and, is. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Yeah, you're that right. That thing is terrifying. Okay, okay. Well, guys, uh, what should we build for our underwater base? Uh, I guess the first thing we have to do is build an entrance. So uh, why don't we build that out of some blue stained glass? Wait, is that going to be strong enough, though? It should be strong enough since it's all going to be underwater. And because it's glass, we'll be able to, like, see out into the ocean and see what the meteor is doing. Well, how about let's use something a little bit stronger? Well, like this reinforced light blue stained glass. <gasps> Whoa, reinforced glass? Okay, okay, I like that idea. Let's do it. Here, let me grab some of this. And let's just replace all of this old glass with some of this reinforced glass. Let's go. Well, I had the same idea, but mine would have been better. And the what? You had the same idea? How would yours be any better, Dasho? Uh, because I'm better than you, obviously. It's literally a wall. It's not like if you had the idea first, it would make it better. But anyways, guys, this is looking pretty good. Here, let's just build like a big uh, wall thingy going all the way up to the surface for the entrance. And then at the top, we can have like a trap door. Whoa, is this base going to go all the way to the ocean floor? Yep, we gotta be as far away from the meteor as possible. But anyways, while you guys are building up the tower, I'll build the entrance up over here. What we gotta do is have a little platform. And then let me grab a trap door and let's see, what type of trap door should we use? <gasps> Whoa, guys, what about a keypad trap door? This thing looks pretty cool. What's a keypad trap door? Oh, check it out. Pretty much, I can go ahead and place it down right over here in the corner of the entrance. And look, we can set a passcode for it. So uh, I guess let's just set it to one, two, three, four. Four. And then let me hit save. And now the only way to get in is if you enter the right passcode. Oh, hold on. I wrote it wrong. There we go. Yeah, that works. What happens if you enter the wrong password? Uh, then it's just not going to open. And then you're going to be stuck outside with the big meteor. Wait, oh no. Can you rewrite down the password somewhere? I might forget it. And, uh, well, Ruby, it's so simple. It's literally one, two, three, four. Well, if I get scared by the meteor, maybe I'll forget it in the moment. What? Okay, well, doesn't that kind of defeat the purpose? What if we have burglars breaking into our base? What? How is the meteor going to break in? It doesn't even have hands. Wouldn't people have already evacuated by now? I don't know. There might still be some burglars around, even though the meteor is there. Oh, man. People are scary. Anyways, I guess I'll just try to memorize it then. And yeah, yeah. It's pretty easy to memorize. Just, like, keep repeating one, two, three, four in your head, like, a thousand times. Don't worry, Ruby. I'll help you memorize it. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. But anyways, guys, we've got the base of our base done. And now uh, we have a little bit of a problem. We've got a lot of water in here. Uh, guys, we kind of got to drain this. Everyone grab some sponges. Ooh, sponge jam! Let's go! Sponge up all the water. And boom. There we go. It's all gone. Oh, wait, we have a little bit over here. There we go. Now it's all gone. Oh, man, I didn't even get into the base yet. One, two, three. Oh, it comes after three. And, wait, Ruby, are you still trying to memorize it? It's really hard. Okay. Oh, four? Okay. Uh, and then... Oh, it worked. And okay, there you go. You got it. But anyways, guys, now that we have the little entrance to our base done, what should we build down here? And <gasps> wait a minute, guys. I think I have a really cool idea. What if we build like a cool dome looking shape? So we have like an underwater dome out of glass. Oh yeah, that'd be good. Uh, how in the world do we build a dome though? And uh, uh, watch this. It's pretty simple. What we have to do is just stand in the middle right over here. And then if I go ahead and type this command slash slash sphere, boom, there we go. We should have a big sphere around our base. Now, hold on. Let's go check if it actually worked and Whoa, check that out. This looks awesome. Wait, it worked. Oh my goodness. And check it out. It's even up here. And oh, no, wait, hold on. It, it is up here. Uh, I, I guess we made it the perfect size. Let's break this top part over here real quick. Come on, Dash. I can't believe you're so lazy. I could have done this easily. And, wait, wait, what? Lazy? Did you not see me just do it? What are you talking about? Okay, well, I could have done it by hand and not with commands. And what? Do you know how long that would take, Dash? By the time you finish building this by hand, the meteor is going to come down and attack all of us. Whatever. Uh, come on, guys. Stop fighting. The meteor's almost here. We need to start working on the base. And yeah, yeah, Cam's right. But anyways, guys, the next problem we have is uh, draining all this water in here. And uh, guys, there is a lot more water in here. I'm not sure if just sponges are gonna work. Well, I am kind of thirsty, so uh, just give me one second. <laughs> Uh, wait. Did you drink all the water? What? I was thirsty, bro. What the heck? Dude, do you know how much water that was? Uh, it was like two gallons or something. Dude, that was at least like a thousand buckets. How did you do that, Cam? Well, I mean, I'm I, I'm not as thirsty anymore. But uh, guys, we need to start working on the base. Remember? Uh, yeah, meteor. yeah, yeah, Cam. You're right. But anyways, now that we've got this big room over here, what should we build in the first room? And, oh, I guess we can just make this like, uh, I don't know, the main room area. Oh, guys, why don't we make this look like the outside so we can have like grass? 
floors and trees and stuff so that it reminds us of like outside. Wow, that'll be pretty. Oh yeah, I'll go ahead and get started over here. I'll go over here and start. Yeah, yeah, guys, this should look super awesome. Here, let's just replace all of the floor with some grass and okay, this is taking forever. Here, guys, what we can do is just run the command slash slash replace near uh 10 gravel with some grass and check it out. Now a bunch of the gravel just got replaced with grass. Here, let's just go around the entire base and just run this command. Let's go, let's go. This is actually looking sick here. We just gotta replace some of the stuff up here as well. And ooh, Dashel, I see you're planting the trees. That's looking pretty nice. Now we have an endless supply of wood. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, we have like our own wood area and everything. And yeah, all right, this area is looking really nice. It looks just like up there on the surface. Yeah, we've got our own little town going on down here. Yeah, kind of. And ooh, Kim, I see you're building like a little shack over here. Oh yeah, I'm just building a little hut here. And ooh, okay, okay, I like it. That's looking pretty nice, but ooh, wait, you guys built a swing over here? Yeah, do you like it? That looks sick. But anyways, uh, we've got all of this, but now we need like some actual important rooms to like help us stay alive down here. The first thing we need is a kitchen. What are we gonna make it out of? Hmm, good question. And oh, wait a minute, guys. I think I have a pretty cool idea. For the kitchen, why don't we make like an entirely different sphere off into the ocean so we can just like dig into the water a little bit like this. And check it out. We can make like a little tunnel over here underneath the water to lead to the other room. Oh yeah, and then we can make like separate bubbles for each room. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We could have like different bubbles, but here, uh, I think this should be about far enough. Now, let me just stand over here and run that command again. Except this time, let me make it a bit smaller. So there we go. And okay, nice. Check it out. Now we've got like a smaller sphere over here. Although, uh, hold on. We should probably break some of this tunnel. I think I made it a bit too big. Okay, I'm gonna put down a lot of sponges now. All right, but wait, Ruby, I don't think the sponges are gonna work. There's a lot of water in here again. Uh, you can uh, do you happen to be thirsty by any chance? <gasps> Boy, do I come here water your mind. I... <laughs> And no way, this actually works. It what? Okay, that is actually crazy. That is so gross. Kim, you realize this is probably salt water, right? I mean, the ocean is a soup, I guess. Um, I kind of, I guess. But here, guys, let's make this kitchen area look nice. Let's get rid of all of the gravel in here. Yeah, we don't want any gravel in our food. Exactly, exactly. We gotta have all the food be super uh, sanitary. Yeah, I'd rather not have flint in any of my food. Thanks. Ew. Yep. So here, let's just get rid of all of this random stuff. And here, let me just run the command slash slash wand really quick to get a magic wand and here. What we could do is set the entire floor into some quartz block. I think that should look really nice. Ooh, I like it. Oh, yeah, it's already looking so much better. Let's go, let's go. This kitchen is looking awesome. Oh, we should have so much food in here. Yeah, yeah, we gotta have a lot of food in here because if that meteor comes out and attacks us, then we're probably gonna be stuck down here for a while. I can't believe I have to be stuck with you. What? Okay, well, anyways, the kitchen area is looking pretty nice. We've got the floor complete. Now we gotta put down all of the actual, like, normal kitchen things. So here, I guess let me grab a fridge reel quick and uh, we could just have this wall over here be dedicated to fridges. So we could just have like a bunch of fridges just like this. We can have double decker fridges. Yeah, that's looking nice. I've never seen a double decker fridge before. And no, 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 Ruby, it's really nice. Pretty much uh, the cooling power is going to be amplified because there's like two fridges stacked on top of each other. So like the quantum cooling of the ability with the fridge will be like uh, multiplied. Is that how that works? I don't think that's how it works. But anyways, guys, what we got to do now is put some food in them. So uh, I guess we can grab some steak and shove those inside of the fridges. Let's go. You just steak? Well, I'm actually going to put some cool stuff in here. And well, guys, what's not cool about steak? Steak is like the best food. <gasps> oh, guys, 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 in my fridge, can I put some puffer fish? And, well, puffer fish, Cam, I'm pretty sure puffer fish is poisonous if you eat it. What? No, they're yellow and they look awesome. Look at me. Um, okay, while you're at it, you want to get some uh, spider eyes as well? No, no, spider eyes are gross. Puffer fish, though, they're my friend. Uh, I... Wait, you want to eat your friend? Uh, it's an interesting relationship, but uh, which fridge is mine? And, uh, okay, I guess uh, you could have the fridge on this right side. Yeah, how about, uh, Cam, you get this fridge over here, Ruby, you get this one, and Dashal, you get this one, and I get all the other ones. I already filled mine. Oh, wait, is yours the one in the middle over here? And uh, what? This is the most unhealthy food I've ever seen. But it's yummy. Dashal, I don't think you're going to survive if you only eat this food. I'll be fine. You guys are crazy. You need a vegetable. Here, take those trees, Dash. And, wait, what? Hold on, Ruby, you're putting trees inside of your fridge? These are dark oak saplings. It's got fiber. Uh, okay, but I don't think eating tree saplings is good. What about, like, some apples, maybe? I think that'd be a lot uh, healthier. Uh, I mean, sure, they're basically, like, candy, though. Oh, wait, I've got an idea. Why not these, Ruby? They're called, a uh, Ruby or apples. <gasps> Whoa, wait, they're, like, your own special type of apple. This looks so healthy. 
healthy. Okay, yeah, those should definitely be good. But uh, I'm just gonna keep putting steak in all my fridges. Steak is the best. Wait, Dash, why do you have so many fridges? Uh, because I have so many muscles and I need food to fuel all of them. Where are your muscles? I thought you uh, stopped going to the gym. It, no, dude, dude, I always go to the gym every day. Check it out. My muscles are huge. Uh, you stopped going to the gym two months ago. The, no, I didn't. What are you talking about? I, I, I work out at home. But uh, guys, we have all the fridges done now, right? We have food inside every single one. Nice looking good. But anyways, what else does a kitchen usually need? Uh, a place to wash your hands because some people are dirty and gross. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. A sink is going to be very important. Let me grab one of those real quick. Let's see. What type should we grab? Ooh, purple kitchen sink. Let's grab that. And uh, we can just have our sink be right over here. And then let's also grab some countertops and just put those all over here around it. And nice. We've got the little countertop area done. And ooh, guys, we should also have some little cupboard things at the top. Oh, yeah. And wait, guys, what's a kitchen without a place to cook food? And oh, oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. We're going to need to have an oven as well. Let me grab an oven real quick. And here, we can just have the oven be over here off to this side. There we go. That looks pretty sick. Whoa, that looks awesome. And then we could have the cabinets be right up here. Let's go. And I'm going to put this microwave right there. There we go. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. Now this kitchen is looking really decked out. Ooh, that looks awesome. But wait, can we have some tables so I have a place to eat all of my soup? And oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Tables are the next thing we need to build here. Let's see. What type of tables could we use? And ooh, what about these ones? They're called outdoor tables. These look sick. Are those for the outdoors? Yeah, I mean, who cares if they're for the outdoors? They look sick. Look, it's like made out of glass on the inside. Oh, there's too much glass everywhere. What's all wrong with glass? Because we're surrounded by it. Well, if you don't like the tables, then you can choose the chairs. Yeah, that's all here. You can choose the chairs. What type of chairs do you want to use? Uh, I guess some oak chairs are fine. Ooh, okay, okay. Good choice. Oak should work pretty well since it'll match the table. But yeah, we could just put these on each corner of the table like that looking pretty nice. And here, let's also grab some plates. Wait, you guys are so far away. Huh? Well, what do you mean? Far away from each other. Oh, yeah, yeah. We all have like our own little area. It's pretty nice, right? Yeah, a lot of room to, uh, to pick out and get a boat, get your grub on. Ew, don't talk about eating food like that. You know, I don't want to be sitting across from Dash and sitting next to me is just as bad. Wait, what, what are you trying to say from that? What's so bad with sitting across from me? It's sitting next to me. What the heck? Well, instead, let's do something more like this. Let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this. And, uh, uh, the way, this. What, what are you doing? Why are you moving the chairs around? And then we put Cam here and Ruby here. You can sit over here, and, Dad. Uh, th what? Why? Why don't I get a seat at the table? Don't worry. You get a table. I'll give you a little table. What? The, I don't want to be sitting alone. I guess I'm okay sitting next to Cam. You want some cheese? <gasps> Yummy cheese! And, uh, what the heck? No, 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 guys. We're not doing that. Uh, let's go back to the old seat arrangements here. Let's put the seats back down over here like this. And yeah, guys, come on. Let's just stick to this. This way, it's all equally a distance from each other. Well, I don't really care, I guess. This is fine. All right, all right. Well, anyways, we've got the kitchen area done. But guys, uh, we have a problem. What if we run out of food? Oh, wait, you're right. We're underwater. Oh, that gives me an idea, though. Why not let's build a farm? And yep, exactly. That's what I was thinking. Guys, what we should do is build another one of these bubbles for a farm. We can build it on the other side of the main big bubble. Yeah, this farm's gonna be sick. Let's go. Oh, let's go. So uh, here, I guess we can just, um, hmm, should we build it on this side or a different side? Oh, why don't we build it on this side? I think we have more room here. Yeah, and then this could look super awesome. Yep. So here, let's just build another little underwater tunnel to get to it. So let's just build it like this. And here, now let me stand far back out over here and run the sphere command again. There we go. And boom. Nice. We've got a nice little sphere for our farm. All right, guys, you know the drill. We got to clear this area out and then uh, make it look nice. So Cam, are you thirsty by any chance? You know it. <laughs> Let's go! All right, well, anyways, now we gotta get rid of all this gravel. This should be pretty simple. Let's just get rid of all of this. There's a lot more gravel in this one than there was in the kitchen room. We gotta get rid of it all. Yep, I'm working on it here. Let's just get rid of all the gravel in here. While you guys are getting rid of that, what I'll do is grab some grass. And here, let's just set all of the floor into some grass. We have to have the floor be grass because we're building a farm here. Oh, that's true. Oh, man, being underwater makes me want sushi. And wait, wait, what? You want sushi? Yeah, doesn't being around all this fish make you want it too? And oh, wait, that is a good point. We can make like a little fishing pond inside of our farm room. Oh yeah, that'd be awesome. Oh, I didn't think about that, but you're right. Yeah, then we can literally have all the food we'd ever want. So here, let's just first set all of the floor into some grass. Boom. And anyways, now that we've got the floor done, we got to start like actually building the main part of the farm area first. So everyone grab a hoe and a water bucket. Yeah, let's start hoeing this land. Wait guys, what about water? And yeah, yep, yeah, here, let's do the water as well. Let's put down water every few blocks so we can just have some water there, some water here, and some water here. And nice, all our crops should be hydrated from that. This is gonna be awesome! But guys, we can have even more farmland than this. Why don't we build another lair? And, whoa, wait, a multi-layered farm? That is a big 
your idea? Okay, okay, yeah, let's do it. We'll have so much more farming space this way. How are we gonna put the water in here, though? And oh, wait a minute, that actually gives me a really good idea. Here, check it out. What we could do is just uh, get rid of the water down over here, and then we can put the water up here. And check it out. Look, it's gonna like flow down. Whoa, it's a waterfall. I would have come up with that idea way faster. What? Well, you didn't. I came up with it first. But anyways, this is actually looking sick. This way, both layers of the crop farm are gonna be hydrated. Yeah, and now we can start placing some stuff down. Let's see, we're gonna need seeds, definitely. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we're definitely gonna need seeds here. Let's just grab like every single type of seed. Let's grab some wheat seeds. Uh, let's see, let's see what else. What we can get tomato seeds, rice seeds. Whoa, guys, we can get a lot of seeds. Carrots, I want carrots. I'm going with potatoes. <laughs> what about cucumbers? What cucumbers? And how can we use those? Uh, they're healthy, okay? They taste good. But here, let's just go ahead and plant all of our seeds down. Let's go. And uh, the, the why isn't this working? Uh, I have no clue. It's not letting me place down potatoes either. Yeah, I can't put down any carrots. Oh, guys, guys, wait a minute. I think we need to have some light in here. That's why it's not working. Here, let me try grabbing some glowstone really quick. And here, what if we just, like, put a bunch of glowstone up here at the top of this room? This should be enough to light everything up. Oh, yeah, that's so smart. Yeah, here, let's put all this glowstone over here, and let's see. Is it gonna work now? Let's see. Can I grow my cucumber seeds? And what? I, I, I still can't grow them. What the heck is this? I can grow them over here when we're right underneath the light. Yeah, I'm gonna get closer, obviously. Well, yeah, why don't we just put some glowstone along the walls like this and make it, like, look cool as well? And ooh, okay, okay, I like that idea. Yeah, that way our lower layer of the farm down here can get some light as well. How's this? Do you think this is good enough? Well, it looks like it's working. Let's see, let's see. And uh, wait, Ruby, I don't think we should have it running like across. What if we have it like what Cam was talking about? We can just have it like inside the walls. It's not gonna reach everything that way. No, it should work. It should work. What about the lower layer too? Hmm, on the lower layer, we could just have a bunch of the wall be made out of glowstone like this. This should look awesome. I don't think it's gonna reach everything, but okay. Yeah, I guess we can test it out. Let's try planting a bunch of stuff over here. And oh, okay, actually, wait, you were kind of right. It reaches as far as over here, and then it stops working over here. But wait, guys, we can just put them in, like, the water spouts right here. That kind of works, but I still can't grow anything over here. What if we put it on the floor in the pathway? Ooh, yeah, yeah, good idea, good idea. We can just have, like, the pathway over here be made out of glowstone. This should ensure that everything is lit up properly. Oh, awesome, there we go. Now we can actually start planting the food. Let's go, let's go. I'm gonna plant a bunch of cucumber seeds. I'm gonna be the world's best cucumber farmer. And I'm gonna be the world's best uh, potato farmer. Oh, yeah, well, uh, I'm gonna grow more cucumbers than you grow potatoes. Do cucumbers even give you that much hunger? And, oh, wait, actually, that's a good question. I guess let's test it out. Let me grab a cucumber really quick. Uh, yeah, Dash, I'll you to survival. Let's see how much hunger this gives. And, ooh, okay, okay, I'm in survival now. I gotta run around a little bit to get some hunger. Uh, yeah, someone punch me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, I got it here. I can just splash you with this potion. And wait, what, what potion? And, oh, wait, a hunger potion? Perfect. And, okay, okay, there we go. My hunger bars are starting to go down out here. Let me just run around a little bit more. Come on, come on, let's go. Hold on, the hunger effect is about to run out. I've got it for two more seconds. And there we go. All right, I'm missing two hunger bars. Now, let me try eating one of these cucumbers. Come on, and Oh, uh, guys, it, it filled up all of my hunger bars. Yeah. Uh, it only done half, didn't it? Yeah, it only did half. Then why are we planting them? Uh, they taste good, okay? That was because Dash is a doinkus. We need to play something better. Ah, uh, fine, fine, fine. I guess we can replace the cucumbers. Let's see. What other types of seeds are there? In? Ooh, guys, what about some peppers? Uh, Dash, I'm not choosing any seeds that you choose. Uh, yours is horrible. And <gasps> what about some corn? And wait, what? Corn? Oh, that could actually be pretty good. Yeah, wait, hold on. Let me get some bone meal and see what it does when it grows. Ooh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. I want to see what it looks like in Oh, that's kind of cool. All right, let's check it out. And wait, it gives me a, a raw corn. Wait, can I cook this? <gasps> oh, yeah, right. You have to cook corn. I kind of forgot about that. Yeah, I'm going to go cook it in our kitchen. Ooh, okay, okay. Hold on. I want to see what this turns into. Let's see it. Let's see it. Oh, there's beetroot soup in the oven. Uh, Ruby. <laughs> I like soup. Uh, no, you filled the oven with soup. Okay, well, Cam, I just, just put it in the microwave oven. Yep, it's going right now, and it's about done. And <gasps> wait, Dash, check it out. And, whoa, you got a piece of corn. Okay, well, uh, here, try putting me in survival mode. I want to see if it's good. All right, yeah, there you go. All right, all right, here we go. Let me try eating this real quick. Let's see, how many hunger bars? And uh, it only gives half a hunger bar. What? This food sucks. Okay, how about we just go grow some normal crops, like some regular wheat seeds, uh, instead of trying to mess around with, like, corn and, like, weird stuff. And, oh, wait, I see you guys have added an animal farm here. Uh, yeah, I came up with it, obviously, because I'm better than you. Yeah, that shell's farm is awesome. Yeah, I brought them all in myself. What? I could have done this, too. It's not that hard to build a farm, you know? But anyways, up here, uh, me and Cam have done some experimenting, and we got to replace all these corn seeds with uh, some wheat seeds. The corn seeds are not that good. You just can't choose the right seed, can you? Uh, no, we're just trying to find out which 
which one's the perfect seed? And yeah, yeah, we were testing. We were testing, okay? And plus, we also need wheat for the animals, you know? And yeah, yeah, right, because the animals eat wheat. So here, I'm just going to replace a bunch of the seeds with some of these wheat seeds. There we go. And all right, nice. The farm is looking pretty awesome. Wait, guys, we forgot why we built this place in the first place. I want fishing farm. And oh, oh, right, right. We need to have like a fishing pond area. Okay, um, hmm, how could we do that? Well, why not just make another bubble? Wait, 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 hold on. I think I might have a cool idea. Here, check this out. What we can do is make like a little pond area over here like this. And then we can break a hole in the ceiling over here. And then check it out. Water is going to flow down from the ceiling and go here. And this could be the fishing pond. Oh, perfect. Oh, yeah, let me decorate it real quick. Let's go. Let's go. This is looking awesome here. Let me also grab a chest and we could just put that right over here. And inside of this chest, we can put all of the fishing rods. Yeah, this is looking awesome. The, wait, wait, hold on, Ruby. I think I found something you might like. Huh? What? It's called fish pie. Take that. Fish pie? Pie? Oh, it's a pie made out of fish. Ew! Oh, yeah, it seems like something you'd like. I didn't want fish pie. I wanted sushi. Same thing, same thing. But anyways, guys, now that we got the farm area done, what else do we need to build? We've got the farm and we've got the kitchen. So we have food stuff dealt with. Well, Dash, I have been drinking a lot of water and uh, I, I kind of got to go, if you know what I mean. So uh, if we could build that, that'd be nice. And oh, 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 wait, a bathroom. Yeah, you're right. We got to build a bathroom. You have been drinking a lot of water. Okay, well, here, I guess we can build like another little dome for the bathroom. Uh, let's build it over here on this side. Yeah, this one might have to be the biggest of them all. What? Oh, gosh. Uh, okay. That's so gross, Cam. What? I can't help it. Just build a regular size bathroom, okay, Dash? All right, but here, let me run the command to build a sphere again real quick. There we go. And all right, guys, the bathroom sphere is complete. Now we just got to connect it. Let's just connect it to our main dome just like that. And Cam, I know you said uh, that you're kind of like... Uh, I can try and drink it. <laughs> Uh, 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 can we hurry up, please? And, okay, yeah, guys, I think we should hurry up. I think Cam's got to go. Okay, so um, what do we put in the bathroom? And, uh, okay, well, the, first we got to make it look nice. So here, let me grab another wand real quick. And, ooh, guys, we got to make the bathroom out of some quartz as well because that's like the main bathroom block. All right, nice, nice. Here, let's set all of the floor up first and then we can start putting down all the toilet stuff. So here, let's just do all of this. There we go. The floor is almost done. Boom, there we go. And all right, nice. The floor is complete. Now we can actually put down the toilet. This is a really big bathroom. Bathroom. Yeah, I agree with that, Shell. It's a really big bathroom. Uh, trust me, guys. I'm gonna need it. Uh, oh, yeah, guys. I think we should probably trust Cam on this one. But anyways, I've got a toilet here. We can just put down the toilet right over here. And all right, the bathroom is pretty much done. Uh, no, I'm gonna need something a little bit bigger than that. Uh, what? This, this normal toilet's not gonna be enough? Uh, no, not even my butt can fit on this thing, bro. Why is it against the glass, too? Anyone can look in. What? Uh, that Shell, only the fish are gonna be looking in. I don't think there's any, gonna be any people down here. I don't think I want fish looking at me. We should at least build a stall. Oh. Mm, okay, I guess we can build a stall, but wait, wait, hold on. We should deal with the toilet first. Kim, what do you mean you need, like, a bigger toilet? How are we supposed to build a bigger toilet? All right, well, first of all, we need to do is make a little area here, and then we can make a tube going down to the actual ocean. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait. You're making it, like, really big. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna need it. You sure all this is necessary? Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, okay. So, here, I guess let's also grab some water buckets, and we could just fill all of this up with some water. And here, I guess let's make everything look nice down here. Guys, I'm kind of swimming in toilet water right now, but it's fine since uh, the toilet hasn't been used yet. Yeah, Dash. You do that. Someone's got to do it. Okay. Uh, we got to have the toilet look nice. But anyways, there we go. That I guess that's looking pretty nice. Kim, is this what you're talking about? Oh, yeah. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Ooh, okay. Okay. But here, what we should also probably do is add a door over here like this. Let's just make this area a little bit longer. And okay, we're going to need like a very big door uh, just to contain the blast, if you know what I mean. Ew. That's so gross. Hey, it's for safety purposes. Okay. We got to put this big hanger door over here. And then we just got to secure everything with some more blocks. And all right, there we go, Kim. Your bathroom is done. Oh, thank you. Finally. Oh, oh wait, guys. I think he's going to use it right now. We might want to back off. Oh, yeah. I'm not being in the room. Get me out of here. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. I think we should probably put an extra door over here. In fact, two extra doors. There we go. Wait, wait. Let me out. Let Come me out. Get out. Get out. Oh, no. oh gosh. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Oh, no. Wait, uh, Cam, are you done? Did the washroom survive? It survived, but uh, oh, I I'd give it about 10 to 15. That's so gross. Ew. Okay, but guys, we should probably build like a, a, another the bathroom as well, just for like normal people here. I guess we can build like another stall over here. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. And yeah, we can just put down like a normal size toilet over here. And uh, we could also put down a normal size door. You can put that down over there like that. And all right, nice. I think the bathroom area is done. And ooh, wait, I see we have 
have some mirrors over here as well. Whoa, who's that handsome looking guy? I don't see a handsome guy anywhere. Yeah, that's because you're not looking at the right mirror. Yeah, he's still not handsome. Guys, let's get out of the bathroom now. And yeah, it's starting to smell bad in here. But anyways, guys, we've got the bathroom done. We've got the food areas done. What else do we need to build in our underground, uh, the bunker thingy? And wait a minute, what's this? Oh, well, I figured we're going to need a mine if we're going to be down here for a while. And, <gasps> whoa, that is actually a banger idea. Okay, yeah, what we should do is make this mine area like uh, a little bit deeper so we can actually get resources from it. Oh, yeah, resources are going to be very important if we want to survive. Yep, yep, yep. We got to make sure all of our tools are upgraded and everything. So here, let's just dig this mine really deep. We got to have an epic mine down here. Oh, wait, we're deep enough. And oh, did we reach bedrock already? Okay, six, six, six. Here, let's just get rid of all of this lava over here real quick. And let's just make this staircase look a little bit nicer as well. Uh, I guess what we could do is go up to the top and we can do some oak wood for the stairs. This should look a lot nicer. And wait, wait, hold on, hold on. We can do this a lot faster as well. Let me select this position with my wand really quick. And also this position up over here. And then if I stand on this top stair over here and run the command slash slash copy and then go down over here on the bottom stair and run the command slash slash paste. Boom, there we go. Check it out. Instant stairs. Oh, let's go. That's actually super simple. Yup, let's go. The staircase is looking sick here. Let's just have it go all the way down to the bottom of the mine just like this. Hold on, wait, we got to break some of these blocks over here. Let's just do it one more time. There we go. And okay, I think this should be deep enough. We're literally at bedrock level. Yep, yeah, so we can just uh, start flattening it off here. Nice, nice, nice. And now we got to build like a little mine shaft area down here. So here, I guess we can just have like little paths going each side. So we can have one path going this way and another going that way. Nice. Yeah, I'll start over here and get this working. Let's go. Let's go. This is looking pretty sick. And oh, wait here. We should also have a big chest over here in the middle for like pickaxes and stuff. So here we can just like have a pickaxe chest right over there. And oh, wait, actually what we can do is have two chests. We could have one chest for torches and then one for pickaxes. So here we could have a chest over here on that side for torches. There we go. And then we can have the other chest over here be for pickaxes. Let's go. This mine is looking awesome. Yep, I'm just going to make it look a little bit nicer. Ooh, nice, nice. Good idea. Here, this gives me an idea. Let me grab a wand again. And what we could do on this side, Kim, we could select each corner of this just like this. And then we could run the command slash slash stack uh, 50. There we go. Check it out. Oh my goodness. Check it out. It's awesome. Let's go. Let's go. This is actually awesome. And we could go mining in here whenever we need to get resources. Yeah, we could also put this exact same thing on the other hallway. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. So here, let me just run the command slash slash copy over here. And then let me go on the other side and run the command slash slash rotate. And now if I go ahead and paste it in again, boom, there we go. Now we've got the same thing on this side here. Let me select this and then also slash slash stack it. Boom, there we go. Nice. Now we've got like a big mine shaft. Let's go. But after a mining trip, I'm pretty tired. So I do not want to walk up all these stairs. And, oh, wait a minute. That is a good point. Walking up all these stairs while carrying a bunch of ores is going to be kind of tiring. <gasps> wait, what if we have a minecart system? I'm already on it. Let's do it. Ooh, okay, okay. Here, let me grab some rails and we could just have some powered rails and some normal rails. And here, let's just put down a bunch of rails over here on this side. This is going to be awesome. All right, there we go. And oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Dashiell and Ruby, what have you guys been doing? We've been decorating and making cats. And ooh, wait, you guys made these paths. That looks awesome. Okay, well, here, we're almost done with the mine over here. All we got to do is just put down these last few rails like this. There we go. And then here, let's test it out. Let me grab a mine cart real quick and hop on over here. And oh, wait, are you putting a button down here? Good idea. Yes, I am. There we go. Buttons placed. Nice, nice, nice. Now, if I hit this button, we should get going. Let's go. Let's go. That worked perfectly. I'm ready to go mining. And wait, what? you have like a whole mining hat and everything? Okay, well, the, the, you are very ready. Oh, yeah, I found it. Uh, here, we can put it in one of these chests. Oh, yeah, yeah, good idea, good idea. I guess we can put it in the chest with all the torches. We can just put a bunch of mining hats in here. Let's go. But anyways, here, let's also put down a button over here on this side for activating the mine cart. And all right, I think the mine should be fully done. Let's go. All right, well, let me take it on a test drive up. Let's see if I can actually beat you while you're up there. And what? No way you're going to beat me. I'm already up here, dude. Well, I had to place down my mine cart. If I actually had it, then I would have beat you. All right, but anyways, it looks like the minecart works going up as well. Let's go. The mine area is complete. Oh, that looks awesome. Well, guys, we have all these rooms, but there's nothing to do for entertainment. And oh, yeah, true. You're right. We're probably going to get bored down here. Um, hmm. Anyone got any ideas? Um, what about like a flower picking area or like a petting zoo or like a makeover place? Dude, those sound like the most boring ideas ever. <gasps> what about a go-kart racetrack? Wait, that actually sounds awesome but uh where in the world will we build that and uh guys we still have one empty side over here where we haven't built any like dome thingy so why don't we build it on this side oh sure i guess yeah yeah check it out it could be awesome here we could like build a little tunnel going towards it and here guys we have to make this dome for the go-kart track super big oh yo 
yeah, we need to have so much room for go-karts. I guess go-karts are fine. And here, guys, since we're going to build this dome really big, I'm just going to build really far away from the main dome. And uh, let me just go over here. I think this should be far enough. And here, now let me go ahead and run the command to make the sphere. Boom! There we go. The sphere is absolutely ginormous. And all right, now we can connect it to the main sphere. Yeah, this thing's huge. Yeah, yeah, go-karting is going to be very important, all right? And all right, there we go. I think everything is connected to the main dome. And uh, Cam, there's a lot of water in here. But uh, do you happen to be thirsty by any chance? I know it's a big ass. Yep, I got it. <laughs> Wait, no, oh, wait. Oh, wow. Okay, that was actually incredible. I think I drank a little bit too much water. And, oh, what the heck? Now he's spinning up fish. Oh, no. Okay. Hey, guys. Is the race car track done? Ooh, fish. I can make sushi with and, this. Uh, uh, wait, no, no, Ruby. I, I, I would not suggest making sushi with that. Cam kind of threw it up. Wait, what? Ew. Yeah, but anyways, guys, uh, now we got to start building the go-kart track. So here, what we got to do again is clear out all of this gravel. So let's just get rid of all of this excess gravel over here. Let's go. And all right, now what we got to do is set the floor. And oh, wait a minute, guys. What we could do is just go in the middle of our big dome over here. And here, let me just run this command slash slash cylinder real quick. Boom, there we go. And all right, check it out, guys. Our floor is perfectly filled in. Let's go. Although, wait, hold on. There's still like some imperfections in the edges. We should probably probably fix those. That's fine. It's so much simpler doing this than uh, placing it all by hand. Yeah, that command is actually clutch. All right, and there we go. Now we can actually start making the track. Yep, let's do it. And uh, wait a minute, uh, guys. I kind of just noticed something. Part of this dome is above the water. Uh, that is not very good. Oh, gosh. Uh, guys, the meteor is right over there. Uh, why did you guys make it so big? He's had to make it bigger. Why? I, I didn't know it was going to go above the water line. Okay, okay. Here, what we can do is just uh, cut off the top part. So here, let's just go over here in this corner and select this position and then let's go over here in this corner as well and select this position and then let's just set this all into some air boom there we go and oh okay hold on guys water is leaking in now oh no oh no uh, we gotta fill this in quick we do the same command as earlier and yeah yeah hold on we need to find the middle of the, the thingy first yeah i'm already on it all right all right go for it go for it here we just gotta go right over here like this and let me stand in the middle and run the command and here now let me just paste in the command boom there we go and okay perfect now that actually works and oh it doesn't even look too bad yeah it looks good see guys no problem at all now we can just go back inside and is there any water left in here and oh the water's draining cam you don't even have to drink it you i do not want any more fish let's go but anyways guys now it's time to build the actual go-kart track itself so here i guess the first thing we should probably do is have like a big fence around the outside what we could do is have the go-kart track be like a big ring going around this entire room. Oh, yeah. Can you use the same command? And yeah, yeah. Here, I can. Let me just go back in the middle of the dome really quick. And now let me just run this command slash slash cylinder again. Boom. There we go. And all right, guys, check it out. Now we've got a big uh, fence thingy, although it's kind of got some holes in it. We should probably fill those in. Yep, I got it. That'll be easy. Yep. Let's go. Let's go here. Let's just fill in all of this fence. This go-kart track is really starting to come together. And there we go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Well, now what we need to do is like actually build some roads. So ooh, what I was thinking we do is everyone grab a shovel really quick. Uh, okay. What's this for? Check it out. Check it out here. Everyone select this block with your magic wand really quick and then run the command slash slash copy. And then if we hold the shovel and run the command slash brush clipboard, check it out. We've literally got a brush where we can like draw stuff on the floor with. Oh yeah, that's awesome. And now we can just like make a little circle around the entire thing. Exactly. Exactly. We can literally paint in the road. This is sick. Uh, okay. Let's just paint in all of this road. That's looking pretty nice. It doesn't have to look too detailed because people are going to be literally driving over it. Yep. There we go. All right, let's just clean it up a little bit around the edges. There we go. And okay, I think this should be about good. Let's go. And now the only thing we have to do is actually start putting down the go-kart. So here, let me grab a go-kart really quick. And here, I'm just going to put down a bunch of them around over here. I'll put down four. So there's one for each of us. There we go. And all right, you guys want to race? And wait, what, Ruby, what are you doing here? Um, I'm putting down my flowers in my petting zoo, duh. And uh, what, you're actually doing that? Um, yeah. If you guys get a go-kart track, then I'm doing this. Oh. Okay, okay, fair enough. But here, Cam, you want to race? And whoa, wait, I see you already went ahead and painted your go-kart yellow. Uh, yeah, check it out. I'm ready to race. Cam, can you make me a pink one? Uh, yeah, after I win this race, I can. Okay, okay. Well, you're not going to be winning. But here, let's go in three, two, one. Let's go! And, uh, what the heck? Did you just do a wheelie? Uh, yeah, I'm super fast. Don't you know this, Dash? See ya. Hey, yo, yo, I didn't know you could do that. That's cheating. And there we go. Done. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Wait, we got to do a rematch. I want to do a wheelie as well. All right. Well, uh, I'm still going to win. So. All right. All right. We'll see about that. Let's go in three, two, one. Let's go, wheelie. Yo! Hey, that's not a fair countdown. Uh, that was a completely fair countdown. I don't know what you're talking about, but here we go. Dash is in the lead. I'm about to win. Let's go, GG's. Hey, you guys are scaring the sheep. And uh, what, Ruby? Uh, I, I think that's kind of the sheep's fault for living inside of a go-kart track. How could you say that? Don't listen to 
Did you just talk to your sheep? Okay, well, anyways, uh, I think the next thing we should probably do is build a little, like, finish and start line. So, let me grab a little bit of black and white concrete. And here, what we could do is just have, like, the finish and start line be right over here like this. We could literally just have, like, a little banner out of some black and white concrete. All right, I'm gonna set up all the go-cards. Awesome, awesome, sounds good. Here, I'm almost done with the banner over here like that. Nice, that's looking pretty sick. And, ooh, wait a minute, guys, hold on. What if we put down a few of these boost pads on the go-kart track? That can make it a lot more fun. Oh, yeah, this sounds like so much fun. Yeah, yeah, check it out, check it out. We can just have, like, a ramp over here like this and... <gasps> Wait a minute, uh, guys, what if we make the go-kart track kind of take a detour and do a jump over top all of the flowers and the sheep? Oh, yeah, that'd actually be awesome. Wait, what did you say? No, you're not doing that. Wait, hold on, Dash, I'm gonna take it. Woo! What? It's gonna be perfectly fun. See, Cam's doing it. No, the sheep are gonna get scared. Woo! -hoo! Yeah, but look, Cam's having fun. Yeah, well, I don't care about Cam. I care about my sheep. What the heck? Okay, okay, I guess we need to just have a few ramps then. We can have a ramp over there, and we can also have another one over here here on this side. Uh, are you sure you want them that close together? Look, I'm literally like flying between them both. Hold on, wait, I want to try it out. Let me hop inside of this go-kart. Let's go. Let's see. How do these ramps actually work? And whoa! Wait, what? I didn't go as high as you did. Uh, yeah, it's because I've got a special car. I just made it. What? A special car? What type of car? Oh, uh, uh, just the, the cam mobile, uh, exquisite uh, mobile uh, person man car. What? What is that name, dude? I don't know, but check it out. The engine is diamond. Whoa, what the heck? Wait, the normal go-kart engines are made out of what? Let me see it. Uh, uh, these ones are made out of wood? Yeah, I guess I'll upgrade your guys's too if you want. Whoa, okay, okay. Yeah, these diamond ones sound cool, but ah, uh, wait, do they really all have to be yellow? Oh, wait, no, this one could be pink. Okay, that's it. Hold on. I'm grabbing some spray paint as well. I'm making mine purple. There we go. And all right, Cam, you want to race now? Oh, yeah, let me just go ahead and get ready. And I'm ready. Wait, can I join? And oh, oh, yeah, go for it. Wait, you guys are both here. All right, yeah, everyone join. Everyone hop in a car. All right, well, in three, two, one, go, 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 and, go. All right, let's go. And ah, uh, wait, Cam, no, fair. You're doing a really good. Whoa, wait, these cards are crazy. Wait, I'm stuck in the pen. Oh, uh, wait, that's all you get stuck in the pin. Oh, gosh. Wee, this is so fun. Oh, I should go slower so I can be careful. I don't want to scare the sheep. I think I'm already scaring the sheep. Aw, poor things. All right, well, anyways, I think the go-kart track is pretty much done. This thing is absolutely awesome. Oh, do I, hold on. I kind of landed in the sheep area, too. Oh, yeah, we all did. We can play bumper sheep. Look, we can run into the sheeps. Hey, no, don't do that. All right, but anyways, now that the go-kart track area is done here, everyone, let's go ahead and park our go-karts just down over here like this. Mine is the purple one. Uh, mine's obviously the yellow one. I'm just gonna leave my go-kart where it is. I don't think I'm gonna use it that much. Oh, fair enough. But anyways, guys, now that the go-kart track is done, let's head back over to the main house. What else do we need to build? Oh, uh, where are we gonna sleep? And oh, wait, 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 actually, you're right, you're right. That is a good point. We don't really have any uh, proper living quarters yet. But guys, we've already used every single corner. And yeah, you're right. We already have something built on each side of the dome. <gasps> wait, guys, what if we build a tree house? That could be like the living quarters area. Oh, yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah, yeah, a tree house is gonna be sick. Here, let me grab some ladders and uh here we could just have some ladders to get up to the top of the tree house like this and all right guys we gotta build the most epic mega mansion tree house ever it's gonna be the biggest craziest tree house you've ever seen yeah this has to look amazing yep it's gonna be sick here let's just build the wood floor for it first so we can just have like a big platform for the house like this going around the entire tree Ooh, this is nice yep let's go in here we could have like rooms inside of the tree since this is a pretty big tree yeah but we gotta make sure not to get rid of too much of the tree or else it's not really a tree house and yep, guys, make sure not to destroy the tree too much. We can get rid of some of the leaves, but we gotta make sure to have all the branches and stuff here still. Well, I'm building it on the top of the tree, because that's where the best person is. And what? Well, you're getting the top of the tree? That's no fair. I wanted the top. You can have the bottom. What? Ooh, I'll plant another tree down here so we have more room. And Oh, yeah, yeah. Good idea, good idea, Ruby. That's a banger idea. Here, let's just uh, keep working on this tree house here first. And then once you grow that tree, we can expand to the other one. Okay, and then I'll just give it some bone meal. This isn't working. Wait, I think it's because you're too close to this one. I think you need to move it a little bit farther away so that's not underneath this tree house. Oh, good idea. All right, and here, I'm just making my room down over here. I guess I'll take the bottom floor, but my bottom floor is gonna be the biggest floor. That's not fair. What? Well, uh, you already took the top floor, so uh, you get what you get. Whatever. But anyways, this floor down here is actually looking pretty awesome. Let's go. And whoa, wait, Cam, I see this is your room over here. This also looks pretty cool. It's kind of small, though, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it's all I need, though. Fair enough, fair enough. Here, let me add a door to my room as well. Let me just put down the door over there like that. That and, ooh, okay, this area actually looks really nice and cozy. It is a bit cramped, but, you know, uh, it, it's good. Well, I'll just build mine on this tree over here. Ooh, all right, all right, sounds good. And, wait, uh, I, I see you're still 
trying to grow that tree. Hey, you got it! It finally worked! And uh, hold on, guys. I'm looking at the tree right now. I think we went a little bit overkill. It, it barely looks like a tree anymore. I'm, actually, it kind of still looks like a tree from the bottom. Yeah, it kind of looks like we just took a slice of the tree and put our house in it. Yep, but here, I'm almost done with my room. I just got to finish putting up all of the slabs on the ceiling. There we go. That's looking pretty nice. And all right, now that my room is done, let's see. What do I need to put inside of my room? Uh, I guess the first thing I'm going to need is a bed. So, ooh, let me grab some of these purple beds and put them down right over here. Here, let me also add a little bit of glass because windows always look pretty sick. I'm just going to have a bunch of glass going all around the house. And wait, hold on, Cam. I think our bedrooms are kind of connected. Yeah. Yo, oh, wait, I can see underneath your bed right now. Wait, get out of there. Hey, yo, what up, dude? You want to connect our bedrooms? Uh, no, I don't. I want to leave my bedroom alone. Uh, okay, okay, if you say so. But anyways, I'm just going to keep putting down a little bit of glass around here. Let's go. And hmm, what else are we going to need in a living quarters area? Let's see. I guess I can put down a little desk in my room. Let me grab one of these oak desks and just put it down right over here. And here, let me also put down an oak chair over here as well. Nice. That's looking pretty good. And ooh, let me also grab some of these bedside cabinet thingies and just put those next to my bed. Nice. And all right, I think my bedroom is pretty much done. Here, wait, Dashiell and Ruby, what have you guys built? I haven't really seen your guys' builds yet. And Ooh, okay, that shell. Yours is looking pretty nice. Yeah, I know. Much better than yours could ever be. What? Okay, well, Ruby, what's yours looking like? Let me check this out, and ooh, this is looking pretty nice. I see you have, like, a little view into the ocean. Yeah, it's pretty nice, isn't it? Yeah, you can see all, like, the fishies and stuff through this little window. Yep, and now I just need to put down my bed, and then I'll put down some decorations and flowers. And nice, nice. Let's go. This whole treehouse thing is looking awesome. I'm just gonna work a little bit on this balcony over here. I'm just gonna add some fences so that nobody falls off. There we go. This is looking nice and oh wait hold on let me expand these uh fences to go over to your area as well ruby there we go and boom there we go now we've got a balcony going around all of the houses this looks awesome let's go but uh guys we've got food we've got uh the shelter but uh the, what if you know the, something bad happens and wait wait what do you mean something bad happens what it, like the meteor cracks the bubble or something oh wait a minute that actually is a good point we're gonna need to have some sort of escape route oh wait i see um we could use a boat wait no we can't use a boat when we're underwater and and yeah, but oh, wait, guys, what about a submarine? Oh, wait, yeah, that's an excellent idea. Yeah, yeah, guys, we can have like a little submarine room. And uh, ooh, why don't we build it in this corner over here? We can build like another little dome for it. Oh, yeah, and plus it doesn't have to be that big. It's just a little submarine. Yeah, yeah, it's just an emergency escape route just in case we have to escape. So here, why don't we just uh, build into the wall over here like this? And we just have like a little diagonal tunnel thingy to get to the room. I think there's a little hill here, so we're probably gonna have to go up. And yeah, I think so. Here, let's just build up a a little bit like this. This is looking kind of messy from the outside right now, but it should look good on the inside once it's all done. Yep, and uh, now we can start actually making the room for this. Let's go, let's go in here for this room. Why don't we just make it like a square, I guess? We don't need to make it a dome. Yeah, it should be fine. It's just an escape route. Yep, it doesn't need to be anything too fancy. So here, we could just have like a little basic square box room just like this. And then let's go ahead and finish up the ceiling just like this. Let's go, let's go in. Oh, wait, you got it with commands. Nice, but here, now that we have the room done, let's hop on the inside and uh cam uh it, it's, it's your moment again uh fine all right let me just there we go and, whoa that looks awesome all right but here now we gotta make this area look nice so uh i guess what we can do is make a little staircase to get in all right while you do that i'll work on the floor over here all right all right sounds good here i'm almost done with the staircase just putting down a bunch of slabs over here there we go this staircase thingy is looking pretty nice i just gotta get rid of all these random blocks around here all right well anyways uh, now we need to actually build the submarine and yep that's what we gotta do so uh here what we should do is build it out of some purple concrete this is gonna be the best submarine block oh okay how big is the submarine gonna be? What? No, it has to be made out of yellow. Yellow's the best blog. Whoa, 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 no. I feel like you're kind of just saying that because you're like, that's your color. Wait, am I allowed to choose one too? Can we do pink concrete? And oh, wait, wait. Why don't we just use all of our colors? We can have like the bottom part be made out of purple and then we can have like the walls made out of yellow and we can have the roof made out of pink. Oh, okay. That works for me. Uh, fine, I guess. And wait, wait, Kim, you should build the walls out of some yellow stained glass. That way we can see outside of the submarine. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, let's go. This is actually looking awesome. It is kind of small, but it, it's fine, you know? It's like an escape route. We probably won't even have to use it. Yeah, maybe it's bigger on the inside than it is on the outside, and uh, I guess not. Yeah, we won't be here for that long. And uh, wait, how do we actually make this uh, work like a submarine? And, uh oh, well, pretty much what we have to do is grab some submarine parts. So here, let me grab a captain's chair and some passengers' chairs, and I'll just put down the captain's chair uh, right over here. Yeah, it can be in that corner, and then we could have all the passengers' chairs be uh, over here like this, I guess. Oh, that's so cramped, but okay. Or we could just have them all like this. 
this in front. Um, no, no, no. We can't do that. We can't do that because the captain needs to have his little uh, captain ship control panel thingy over here. Uh, fine. We can put him in the back. Yep, it should be fine. But anyways, this should be about everything we need. Uh, all we got to do now is just put a door on it. We can put the door down right over there. And hold up. Wait, this door has holes in it. That means water is going to leak through. We got to find a different door. Ooh, what about this one? It's called the bunker door. This looks nice. Ooh, that one's pretty good. I like this one. All right. Well, anyways, I guess the submarine is now done. But wait, guys, how are we going to get it outside of this dome? Oh, yeah. Maybe we should have like a button that like gets rid of the roof. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. Okay, here. The way we can do that is uh, let me just grab a command block really quick. We can put down a command block right over here. And then if I just go ahead and paste in this command, boom, whenever we activate the command block, it should get rid of the ceiling and then water can leak in and then we could like submarine out. Oh, there we go. That's pretty awesome. But uh, wait, guys, did you hear that? And Wait, wait, what? Hear what? Uh, I think the meteor's coming down, guys. Oh, we haven't checked on it in a while. And, oh, gosh. Yeah, you're right. We haven't checked on the meteor yet. We got to check oh, it out. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, guys, I think it made impact. Uh, there's a bunch of cracks in our dome. Oh, no. What the heck? What do we do now? Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Uh, well, hold on. Is there any food that we can take? Uh, then quick, everyone to the kitchen. We got to get some food if we have to escape. Okay, okay. I'm taking out all my soup. I want my sodas. Quick, quick, quick. Everyone grab your food. I'm grabbing all of this steak from this fridge really quick. Let's go in. Uh, okay, uh, do we have everything? Is there anything else we need to take with us? I've got my buffer fish. Um, um my sheep. And, no, wait, what? You really need to bring the sheep? You have to go all the way to the go-kart track? Yes, everyone to the go-kart track. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. All right, we really have to go all the way to the go-kart track. Everyone, really go quick. All right, Ruby, grab your favorite sheep. I'm grabbing my car. And, uh, yeah, oh, hold on. Man. I'm bringing my car as well. But they're all my favorite. Just pick one and hurry up. We gotta go. All right, I gotta. Let's go. All right, all right, all right. Everyone, go, go, go to the submarine. Everyone in. Come on, we gotta go quick. Come on, come on, come on. Everybody in. Let's open up the door. And, oh, uh, wait, can someone else open the door? I'm carrying my car. Oh, thank you very much. All right, let's hop in. And, okay, I'm putting my car down over there. Come on, quick. Everyone, get in. Come on, come on. Wait, Ruby, where's your sheep at? Come on. I carried it too fast. Oh, no. Well, uh, at least you still have its wool. But everyone, quick, get in. Wait, Ruby, can you hit that button before you come in? Um, sure, I can try. All right, all right, go for it. Just hit the button and then run. It's gonna open up the top. And Oh, yeah, okay, the, the top is currently open. I'm trying to get in, but the water is so hard to get through. Just get in, quick, quick, quick. Here, let me close the door and, all right, everybody hop in your seats. I'm about to turn on the ship. Here we go, here we go. We are now moving and oh, let's go. We made it. Come on, let's get out of here. I think the meteor polluted the water. It's all yellow. Wait, Ruby, I think that's because we're looking through yellow glass. It doesn't matter. Just get away. That meteor's coming down. And, okay, okay. Let's you just go. Let's that. go. That was pretty crazy. And if you want to watch the next video, then click on the video on the screen right now.